Today is March 28, 2013, 8.37 p.m. Pacific Time. And up next, human tissue found in meats. But eating it is no threat. Uh-oh. Amanda Warren, activist post, dated March 28, 2013. The horse meat fiasco in Europe has prodded scientists to look a bit deeper into what else we might be consuming. A team of South African scientists have just found traces of human tissue in meat meant for public consumption from nine provinces. The issue was revealed to Parliament almost as a side note during meat inspection briefings on Tuesday. A university of Stellenbosch scientist and his team conducted a microbial analysis that revealed traces of human elements but said that slaughterhouse workers sometimes cut themselves uh -oh. or other things which could lead to the findings. If I walked into a factory and the sample I randomly selected to test was a meat sample of which the person deboning the meat had just picked his nose and then touched the meat I would get a totally different microbial reading, he said. Ew! Delicious! Oh no! Are you thinking what I'm thinking, folks? No, don't even think it. Beyond the findings themselves, it brings up the global hot-button topic of the moment. Food labeling. How much should we know about what we are consuming? My headset's falling off my head, folks. Oh, gosh. This is not good. <laughs> In addition to the troubling statements above. No, this is serious. This is. I'm not laughing. Scientist Lou W. Hoffman, or is that Lou, noted that only 15% of the meat being sold in South Africa is correctly labeled, revealing other potentially harmful attributes of which consumers are currently unaware. In the labeling regulations, it clearly states that allergens have been uh, have to be mentioned and noted, said Hoffman. Allergens like <clears throat> other people's genetic signatures? Hmm. Yet Hoffman and his team of scientists concluded that the incorrect labeling poses no threat to the consumers who eat it, despite some more germs uncovered. Oh, I hope I'm not going to get grossed out here. Meet musical chairs. And I, I haven't read this article before, folks. I'm just reading it right now. Yeah, that's how I usually do it. Uh-huh. Briefing Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries, University of Western Cape Forensic Scientist, Dr. Eugenia D. Amato, said nearly 43% of samples she had tested which were labeled as game, were in fact beef. Diamato said horse meat had also been used as a substitute for springbok in bildong, and pork was found in ostrich sausages. There was also a smaller portion of kangaroo in samples. Hmm. Despite the overall findings that consumers have absolutely absolutely no idea what they are eating including human remnants oh in 85 percent of the products essays department of agriculture forestry and fisheries deputy director general downplayed it by asserting that we are not becoming unwitting cannibals it is possible that if tested we could find traces of human dna in meat however even if we do find human DNA, it does not mean we are eating human flesh. Great. Unfortunately, we are evidently eliminating healthy microorganisms in the processing of foods. But since there is an acceptable standard of nasty foreign entities, and what are those nasty foreign entities, I wonder? Thanks to our regulatory agencies, we have introduced a variety of contaminants into now weakened guts and immune systems. We'd like to think these food scandals are safe from us overseas. It's their problem, but big problems are usually systemic, and many of the developed nations are on the same platform. As with most, most food scandals, they go on for years, 
unnoticed before the beans are spilled. Yep, it's always after the fact, isn't it? It doesn't sound like anyone's literally being run through the meat grinder just yet, but it's a startling fact that we don't know much about what our food comes into contact with. And we have scientists and regulatory agencies continually asserting how safe our food supply is. Are you unsettled at the prospect of ingesting someone else's particles in blood? Oh, <laughs> that's a silly question, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Of course, of course the answer is yes. Do you wonder what else will be found when the next scientific investigation is conducted in your country? <clears throat> Perhaps we should be asking ourselves before each meal, hey, who's in there? How'd they get in there? Anyone missing? Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what this is. Sources, sorry, folks. Human tissue in my beef stew? Oh. <laughs> Could human DNA be in our food? Quite likely, claims experts. Oh, gee. <laughs> Why did I even ask, folks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, it really isn't a surprise, though, you know. I mean, there are no safety standards left, it seems like, folks. I mean, where did all the safety, you know, in our food uh, go? What's the FDA doing anyway? What, they don't even seem to be doing a very good job of anything. Okay, and this is what this lady is saying. What is she saying here? Human tissue found in meat. Ah! She's screaming, right? She's in shock. She's got both her hands up. Well, <laughs> I do know. This is by the activistpost.com, by the way, this illustration. Yeah. Human tissue. Well, I don't even want to know where the human tissue came from. I think from reading this article, I seem to have an idea where some of that human tissue might have came from. Ew. Yeah. And I know some of you don't like me saying ew. Well, that's just my reaction. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offend anybody with that. Uh... There should be no human tissue in our food. As a matter of fact, that, that's uh, not supposed to be in our food. You know, that's, that's, not, uh, that's not sanitary. We need better safety measures on handling food. Yeah, according to this, it's not, this is not a good indication of how safe our food is. Definitely not. Well, that's it for this report, folks. Just uh, to bring awareness to this, too. Yeah, there's a lot of issues out there, and this is just one of them. Thanks for watching. Pink out.